Hi, everybody. My name is Rick Levier. Uh, I've been asked to speak for the REACH Awards, which I'm honored to do. Um, I'm a retired Senate member, been uh, practicing karate for <clears throat> 49 years this year. And uh, one of the things I was going to talk about was uh, a story that um, Mr. Shintani Sensei uh, told me while he was visiting me in Wawa, Ontario in uh, 1993. I had a clinic set up and uh, in that weekend, Sensei Bruce Perkins and Sensei Jack Jangra uh, came with Sensei Shintani to visit for that weekend. Uh, we stayed together. Sensei Shintani and I stayed in the a chalet in Wawa, and he told me a story about his days in the wartime camps in uh, BC. Uh, he said that the log chalet reminded him of those days, and it was a very memorable experience for me uh, because it was one of the very few times that I've actually had time to spend with Sensi alone because there's always people that want to be with him. And which is cool, and I was being a little selfish, I guess, but it was, uh, it's something I, I'll always remember. It was special to me. So he told me about how he started karate uh, training in uh, that part of BC. It was in the West Kootenays, in actually New Denver, BC. And um, he had been out in the wintertime with some of his friends exploring and um, they were outside of the camp and outside of town in the bush and they heard something going on so they went further into the bush and they found this man who was, who was punching a tree and that was his first um, sight of uh, Sensei Kitagawa, his sensei, his first sensei. And he told us, he told me about some of the training that they did, which was all done in secret. And, you know, it was something that was very personal because, you know, uh, he was telling me something that nobody else in that area, in that camp knew about. Yes, I found that out years and years later. So, I'll always remember that conversation. And this, the karate that he learned was different than what it is today. And you know, years and years later, I coined the, ver the, the phrase uh, for my, my students in our group, I coined the phrase bush karate, which, I, was, which is still used widely today. But um, one of the things that I think a lot of people don't really realize is that Sensei Shintani uh, was the first to practice and learn bush karate just because of how he did it. So that was very cool for me because <clears throat> as you see this picture <clears throat> that's on the screen, this picture was in 1970. Uh, 75, I believe it was. This group of people that you see here were all friends of mine. Sensei Danny McCoy is one of the ones that were both on the far right. We were blue belts at the time. We were attending a camp in the summertime in Kapiskasi. And one of the activities that we were doing was uh, we would run down the road to this big sand pit and climb half the group would go up to the top of the hill and the rest of the group were to were instructed to run up the hill and throw those people off the top of the hill now if you look closely at the picture you'll see that one person in the center front row his sleeve is torn right off <laughs> well that's the kind of day it was 
it was pretty rough and tough, but it was so much fun. And I think one of the things that I came away with all of this, uh, this whole thing about Bush karate was the camaraderie that we all um, shared. And many of these people in this picture that you can see are still close friends and still share something that we'll never lose. So I, I give this to you, uh, you know, you students and members of the Shintani Federation that we've all done these kind of activities, these kind of training um, outings and different ways. But you look at the picture and I have students there that are still practicing today. And Sensei Danny and I share that still. So that was a long time ago, but I wanna give that to you that everything you do as a, as a group and this federation, this group of, of karate people is a sharing and the camaraderie will stay with you for the rest of your life. Thank you for asking me. <laughs>